NBC5 First Warning Weather. Well, some people in our region may have been caught in a snow squall this afternoon. This was the view from our camera in South Burlington. We're going to check in with First Warning Meteorologist Matt DiLoretto now. Matt, a scary afternoon if you're out driving. It sure was. I actually want to show you uh, a video sent in to us by a viewer. Thanks to Joseph Porcelli for this one. I'm going to step off camera for a second so you can see. Just a true white out there. This is at Sandbar State Park uh, along the bridge over to the Champlain Islands there. And this is really just a true white out if I've ever seen one. This uh, really is a good example of why you should heed those snow squall warnings because you certainly be could become disoriented in just a matter of seconds as these snow squalls push through. And they have since moved out of our area. We've just got a few lingering snow showers here moving into Plattsburgh and maybe sneaking in to the Burlington area, but overall clear for most of our area. But I'll show you where the snow squalls have moved off to here. We've made it all the way to southern Massachusetts and Connecticut. So certainly a long lived and very potent system that moved through. And I'll show you a live look at downtown Burlington. You can see some of that shine there on the streets indicating quite a refreeze we've had. And you could see why with temperatures down to 19 degrees. It was in the mid 30s earlier before those squalls moved through. But those northwest winds behind the cold front have continued to bring in that colder air and will actually continue to tank overnight into the single digits getting to around six by sunrise with those gusty northwest winds and the wind chills are really going to be a big factor here as we head toward the morning down to 15 to as much as 30 degrees below zero with those wind chills so not a fun time to be outside and we don't really improve that much for Monday afternoon mostly in the single digits for us for those wind chills so a very cold but sunny day on tap will peak around 16 degrees here in the Burlington area and I think the good news is that the winds will continue to subside throughout the day so certainly feeling okay with that sunshine out there and future cast shows that sunshine throughout the day tomorrow but I want to time out this next system for you that's moving in uh, for Tuesday we have increasing clouds Monday night and by Tuesday morning around 730 as you step out the door we'll have some widespread snow showers moving into the northern Adirondacks and throughout the day these will kind of spread across Vermont and I think that this is mostly a higher elevation system maybe a few inches could fall there I think in the Champlain Valley we'll see some snowflakes but definitely not too big of a deal here locally this looks like a mainly upslope snow event for those higher elevations. So moving out of here fairly quickly for uh, early Wednesday morning, just a few clouds around. And tomorrow's our first cold day of the week that we have to watch for about 18 degrees here in Burlington, 15 in Saranac Lake, only 11 up there in Newport in the Northeast Kingdom with some mid to upper 20s in the upper valley. So our five day forecast shows that very cold day for Monday. The snow showers come through Tuesday with a bit of a warm up getting into the 30s. Some partial clearing Wednesday with some more 30s, but then another cold shot comes through and temperatures tank down to the teens again for Thursday with some partial sunshine. And look what those temps do on Thursday night down to negative two. So I think a lot of us are going to fall well below zero on Thursday night and we'll warm up a little bit for the end of next weekend into next week, but I think we'll have to deal with a much more active pattern with some wintry mix possible uh, for Sunday and Monday. Back to you, Liz. All right, Matt.